can I just have a few moments of your time to rant once again about windows? Okay, so some of you guys know I have you know a few different computers that I've built over the years. Some are you know five years old. Some I just use for basic tasks. Uh, you know, some I use for streaming PCs, and then I've got my regular, my good, my good one that I use to do everything else on. So for some reason, they all the updates don't come in at the same time, right? Um, this one, my streaming PC decided to tell me that there's an update, and I've actually over the past you know, half a year, eight months, everything's been fine. You know, whatever updates have come along, I've I've done one computer to see if it's okay, then once it is, I, I do, you know, update them all because they kind of lock you into updating, right? They can't, you can't just ignore it. You can't just say, no, just keep me where I'm at. So this one was another one of those fall creator updates, the big ones. Last year, now that I saw that that's what, I didn't know that's what it was because I didn't go looking in there until after it updated. I remember last year it did the same thing. It took completely grenaded my system. So I did it last night and boom, system, toast. Can't open any programs. Like it comes up, can't open anything can't do anything all of a sudden the computer's like locked up it's it, there's a program in there on the start ma on the task manager one of the DCM uh, DC DCOM one of the Microsoft things is running the CPU at hundred percent so now I can't even I can't turn it off I can't turn it on once I turn it off it sits there it's like it says it shuts off but it's still running like I can physically see the lights are on and stuff so I got in there and reverted back to my previous one, right? So it's a, you know, revert back to the last uh, Windows 10 or whatever. I got that done last night. And now I can't, oh, I st it's like, it's it brought the problem backwards with it. I can't open like OBS to, str to stream with. I can't, I, <laughs> I can't do anything. So I was up to like one o'clock in the morning messing with this and finally like, dude, I'm so frustrated. I just gotta go to sleep. I'll figure it out in the morning. So now I've spent eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, two, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours as of making this right now. I'm in safe mode right now. It's like a lot of people are like kind of talking about the same type of thing. I always hate looking at forums. They're like, what kind of computer do you have? Shut up, dude. It's not my computer. It's Windows 10. Stop asking people what kind of computer they have. There are all these people, well, give me your specs for your computer. Not like I'm typing in, I'm reading all this stuff. Everybody always asks, well, it sure would help if we had your specs. It was fine for a year until I did the update. It's the update that did it. It's not my specs, genius. They do that because they don't know the answer. They just want to chime in like they're an expert. And it's all over the forums. You know, Microsoft forums, Tom's Hardware forum, all this stuff. Forum people, ban those people. <laughs> anyway, right now I'm in, I'm booted up in safe mode. A lot of a lot of things are saying can't open program. You know, it, it's weird how you type it, but I've seen a lot of it, and a lot of it is based upon just after updates, and a lot of it is saying they get corrupted user accounts that you need to create a new. Like I just have an admin user account in there. That's it, because it's just me. So they're saying that the account gets corrupted, and you need to create basically like replace the account with another account. And if you've got stuff, you've got to move it over and then that fixes. So I'm in the middle of trying to do that and I had to stop to make this because I needed I needed to breathe. I needed to breathe. It just, it's, I, I understand. I totally understand that things need to be updated and upgraded over time. But the way that they do it, they force you to do it. You cannot shut down your computer without it saying update and shut down or update and restart, right? There's no just shut down. Do not force these things upon us. You know, this is, luckily it's my second computer, but the problem is it's my streaming computer. What if this was someone's work computer and it just shut down all their work? Why are you forcing us to update? Do not force us to update. Especially when your update is breaking things. Am I, am like, am I out in my own world here? 
Am I some kind of conspiracy theorist? It seems simple enough. Let's say, for example, that it's not breaking things. Still, do not force us to update. Now, I can see that, like, if an update's been out and we're, like, six months into it, it's like, look, dude, there's security protocols and stuff that you're not up to date on. We need to update your, your operating system. Six months later, I would understand that. They would give you the warning and say, listen, you've got to update. You're, uh, you're unsafe with security protocols. <sighs> But don't force this like, hey, the new Fall Creators update's out. You want to update? You got to update if you want to turn off your computer. And then they force it and then it breaks it. Now, I, it doesn't break it for everything, but it broke it for this one. And it broke it the last year that it did this one. Like I said, I've had plenty of, I've had probably 10 Windows 10 updates along the year that it's been fine. No issues. But this one broke it. So I'm just frustrated and I'm sharing my frustration with you guys. Because, I mean, it's like, what can be better if you're, like, frustrated but to share it with somebody else? Anyway, I have got to go back in there and hope that creating another user account, it, it's like tricking the system. Something got corrupted. Trust me, I've tried. I've tried a lot of things. Anyway, wish me luck, people. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for letting me rant.